Good morning everybody, Steve here, Putsi Boy Travels and I'm speaking to you now from Hua Hin in Thailand and the title of the video is I'm leaving Thailand well for a little while anyway it's now late May and the weather is still hot but lots more rain scuba diving is not very good at the moment with the conditions so I think it's time to return back to the UK for a while I booked my ticket, it was a last minute thing I only booked it a couple of days ago I'm going to take you through the process of leaving Thailand from getting a taxi up to Bangkok, staying a night in Bangkok and then going to the airport, airport departure procedures, uh, going through immigration, all the usual bits and pieces, going on to arrive in Scotland. The idea of going back to Scotland is of course to check out what's going on over there with regards to my small apartment, see one or two people that I know there. Not sure how long I'm going to stay there, maybe only two or three weeks, maybe longer. But anyway, let's go get packed. The taxi's booked, should be here soon, so let's get on our way. Hello, like, Cap. That's the wind, Cap. That's the wind. That's what you Cap. Taxi acquired, tick, and we're on our way to Bangkok. See you at the hotel. So here we are at the hotel, arrived at the 11 in Bangkok and we're here for a couple of nights. This lovely girl is getting my booking sorted out into the room. But it'll work I guess, it's good enough. There was no bath available when I came here. So I'm stuck here with this, which is the shower and a pretty little sink. Use your toilet, but Unfortunately, no bath, so it is a bit disappointing. Here for one and a half nights and then got the airport. But now it's time to eat some food, so off we go. So here we are at the German bakery and just so you guys know they've got a happy hour here from 5 till 7 p.m. and from 10.30 to 12.30 okay so make sure you ask for the happy hour drinks menu otherwise you'll finish up paying full price which I've just done but it's 10 to 7 so I am going to order myself a beer a half a litre of beer for 129 baht which is cool huh? so uh, that's what I'm going to do and of course a huge selection of puddings so of course i'm going for the german what is it german style apple crumble tart with vanilla sauce yeah. so this is the end of the last day before i fly out tonight back to scotland via dubai uh, the weather's starting to turn a little bit it's a bit gray i've just ordered myself a mojito and this is looking rather good it's tasting very good too so i've had an interesting last day done a bit of shopping looking around been to the gym been in the pool had a steam bath this morning um, the hotel's pretty good uh, if you want to know it's the 11 hotel on soy 11 in Sukhumvit in bangkok great location in the middle of everything uh, so check that place out um, not sponsored by the way, it's basically just a place I chose. going to enjoy my mojito and maybe one more because it's buy one get one free up on the roof at the uh, 11 hotel and then it's time for a shower final pack taxi and off to the airport so the next time I'll see you we'll be at the airport cheers 
That's really good. So here you find me leaving the aircraft on the first leg from Bangkok to Dubai. It was a six and a half hour flight, but to take you back to the airport and check in, I arrived at the airport three hours before departure. Checked in with Emirates Airlines, who only requested the passport and the booking reference. They did not request anything else COVID related. Once I'd done that, I went through to the uh, scanning section so they could check the bags. Again, not that many people there. And from there went to immigration. At the immigration, you just complete the biometric scan of your fingers um, and they take a photograph and stamp the passport out of Thailand. That was all there was. It was a very quick process. Went through to departure lounge, had a little look around and then went onto the plane. The second leg from Dubai to Glasgow was also a full flight. It was a seven and a half hour flight. Uh, very full, like I say. Uh, arrived in Glasgow. During the flight, everybody had to wear a mask. But as soon as we touched down at Glasgow airport and started to depart the plane, everybody took off their masks, which was quite strange. Anyway, uh, went through immigration at Glasgow airport um, and then went to get the bags and left the airport. During this time in the airport, there was no request made at all for any vaccination certificates, uh, no locator forms or anything like that. So basically we are now back to normal at Glasgow airport. And then from there, I grabbed a taxi to the train station and got a train back to get my ferry to come back to the Isle of Butte. Oh well, almost home. Another five minutes when the bus leaves. And that was my journey from Hua Hin to Bangkok and over to Glasgow in Scotland via Dubai. Thanks for watching guys. Catch you in the next one. See you later. Please like and subscribe. Bye for now. Bye.